Well, uh, you definitely don't know how it is played, so I don't take your compliment. But <laughs> but I think that um, Chopin should definitely go to Italy because uh, I think Chopin's music is even more more congenial to to Italian people because Italian people they are very sensitive and very human. That's the qualities that are very high also in in Chopin's music. And Chopin's uh, work, and um, not the last. I think that probably if he was living in Italy, he would live longer because of the good food and <laughs> good uh, weather, and uh, we, he had many problems with his health. But I think that the biggest uh, problem of Chopin was obviously his. Uh, Mm, that he was far from from Poland, and uh, he was lacking the just hu humanity uh, and uh, some real human feelings. Uh, um, how to say? Uh, in uh, not inside, but outside him. Around yes, that's what. So yes, he was he was liking just this uh, very simple and very true uh, human feelings around him, and uh, I think that in Italy he would never never feel this, because uh, Italian people they are very very simple in a way, but they have the most important thing of the life very present like humanity, like um, helping each other and like they, you know, they co immediately understand what, what is, what is uh, happening to you if you are sad or if you are happy and I think that Chopin was missing this. Probably he was having this with the, his family but uh, when he left Poland uh, he was missing this all his life. That's a difficult question because I know that Chopin wrote this piece when he was about my age and uh, it's quite incredible to see how how desperate in a way and in the, in, and immediately after he gained beliefs in, in, in life and and um, that he, he can overcome all the difficulties that he had in that period and uh, I mean you know we, we don't have to listen to all of the preludes to, to have a, a complete portrait of Chopin I think that even in little mazurka or even little nocturne we can have the in, entire image of, of Chopin because this is um, the magic of the music that in a, in a few intonations uh, we can we can get so many information, but I mean information like um, you know when we speak we have to to say many words. When we feel this feeling contains a lot of much more information. It can contain like entire generation information in, in just one note in one picture. And music is a, is a. Um, art which is more immediate, more high in my opinion, because we don't have uh, 
any almost we don't have any material material uh, thing it's just something that goes straight to your heart to your soul for this I, I mean I, I'm very proud to be a musician because I, I, I can feel and I can see what what kind of an effect the, the music produce on, on people and for me it's just a big big privilege and pleasure to be just a, a little you know a little mean between composer and and the and the, and the audience uh, sometimes it happens to me to play on some instrument which are, which were played by great music great musicians of the past i played sometimes on uh, on instruments which was played by Liszt. I never played an instrument played by Chopin. Would be really, really interesting, really nice. I don't know how, how much um, authentic they can be today because when Chopin played the, those instruments, they were quite new, and now I think they have like one one hundred fifty years. But still, it can can give us an idea, at least, to of how Chopin was. Uh, conceiving his music and how he was performing himself because I would give really m much to for um, having a, a possibility to listen at least one or two pieces played by Chopin because obviously we have his music written but um, you know I, ov I very often listen to uh, interpretations of some great musicians of the past and I, I can see that how many things they can discover in this um, partiture, on this score. So I just wonder what kind of interpreter was Chopin himself and what exactly, what sense he was, uh, what, what was his um, exact idea, musical idea, because our work consists of con constantly ser searching for for a, for a musical ideas, no, in in the score. So it would be really nice to have this hint, maybe, <laughs> by Chopin himself. And uh, I I believe that he 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 was able to produce an incredible effect on on the audience because of he was not only incredible composer but also an incredible interpreter of, of his and also. A, music by other other composers so we i don't know if we never will be able to to do things something like this to be able to to go um back in time and to listen to to some of his music but if they will invent like i don't know time machine and it will be very risky to go but i will one of the first uh, to go because for me it's I mean, I just I love so much the, the music, and I love so much these great, great people we have to do uh, with almost every day, like Chopin, Beethoven, or Mozart. I I, I can't I can't answer because uh, I'm playing in Rome and I'm playing in Sicily, so I just say that Espresso Italiano is the best espresso in the world. There is no doubt, and for the different regions, I don't, I don't want to, to give preference to anyone. I love, I love Italy, and I am kind of Italian because I grew up there, and uh, I'm absolutely happy that, uh, by case, my life brought me to Italy. But uh, I'm proud to be, let's say, one sort Italian, and. Uh, Drink Italian espresso. <laughs>